Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. 56 wins in a row. Last one was probably like one of the 15 hardest out of that streak. So hopefully, uh, we it was because of poor play. Hopefully we fixed that problem. You know, error between keyboard and monitor. 64SPQQBA. Not good stats to start. Uh, but a spirit... Okay, I guess I'm just gonna walk into an enemy that spawned right next to the door. I will take ownership for that, but at the same time, that's fucking bullshit, and you know it. Um, rate of fire is actually fine. Our, our damage is not, but our rate of fire is, is acceptable. I think... I'm just trying to see if there was any way we could conceivably get the chest out of this, but I don't think so. But either way, you know, Doctor's Remote is actually a pretty good starting item. Spider Babby is not. Yo, fuck this room. Thank God we've got some HP, and especially, like, the Spirit Hearts to back it up, but this room's bullshit. If you don't have, like, a lot of HP, prepare to take... Or a lot of, uh, damage, prepare to take damage on that room. We're... in a bit of a weird spot. But I think, you know, at the very least, we're moving towards the first boss, and we got a nickel out of this floor. Uh, in fact, we got more than that but I very stupidly managed to lose an entire spirit heart by getting hit by a champion and almost had that happen again. Okay, brain, jet lag's no excuse. Cool your shit and just attack the enemy. If it takes 10 minutes to get through floor one, it takes 10 minutes to get through floor one. Don't let the game fuck you. I also can't help but notice um, there is something that appears to be a shop but is probably actually a library uh, just below us. Doctor's Remote is great, but if we pick up Book of Revelations, Satanic Bible, Book of Shadows might be a close call, but if we, if we pick up one of the two major books, I think that that, uh, it definitely contributes to us having a much better chance of winning. I'd also like to get a bomb, like a single bomb allows us to get a key and a lot of other value out of that golden poop. So if we could just get a bomb, that'd be nice. I'd even accept, like, five bombs with a synergy in here. Mom's bottle of pills. That's not good at all. We're gonna hold this pill until a, a, a time later when it is deemed safe. Okay, let's try this. Where did that nickel and that penny come from? <laughs> oh my god, uh, that's quite a lot of money. N oh, that was really bad damage. I'm playing really badly. Addicted as well? That could have been horrible. But now that we have one key, I think we peep the library, even though, obviously, like, if there's actually a shop, we have the money for it. Oh, this is a shop. Okay. It was just really close. So we got Mom's Key and the Habit, both pretty decent, and then we'll take uh, the, the Spirit Heart as well. I really thought that would be a library, but, man, we made 36 cents count there. Mom's Key for the Luck Upgrade and the two keys is good, and the Habit makes me feel... Holy, let me put it this way. It doesn't make it as punishing to be playing as badly as I'm playing right now. Uh, but really, this is a historically bad first floor for my personal, you know, skill-wise here. This is a little embarrassing. Uh, luckily, we haven't been excessively penalized. Let's, you know, fix this. Uh, what do you do with the sun card? Like, I really want to use the sun card to nuke this guy down. That's probably what I'm going to do. It might be more sensible to use it as, like, full HP, but... That felt really good as well. Mom's lipstick. We got the mom transformation already. Uh, that's silly. It's not very good for us. It's just funny that we managed to get all the pieces right off the bat. We got a bottle of pills, I guess. Uh, and then lipstick. Yeah, I would say this is probably worth it. One charge, we pick up an extra key and a little bit of money. The other pill is addicted. We should try to get to five cents. There's, I'd say, like, there's, like, a 25% chance of it happening. Now there's, like, a 2% chance of it happening. Come on. You're gonna do me dirty like that? Is there still one poop over here? Nope. All right, four cents. That's fine. Uh, actually, we've, we've improved ourselves a little bit. Oh, there's still a chance. We've still improved ourselves a little bit on this floor. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that the saga continues, but I'm a little... It, these never contain poop, or only if you have uh, the petrified poop. I'm hopeful we can continue improving. Kind of slow as well. Now, I was going to say, that poop will contain a penny. I'm actually glad it didn't, because I would have been a little bit offended by the game's... The game's, uh, arrogance in the moment. 
for now, though. Things are good. An arcade would have been dope. What would have been doper is if that was actually a library, and then we were able to get, like, a Book of Revelations, and then, uh... I'll just kill him. A Book of Revelations and a, uh... An arcade on this floor out of it, but... You know, there's no use crying over spilt milk, right? So, again, I'm an idiot, and... If, it, if it's idiotic... Is that addicted again? It's not, thankfully. If it's idiotic to use uh, an orbital to deal damage in a kind of a tense situation, I don't even know what to say about myself that I'm trying to use, you know, mom's knife from the mom transformation to do damage. Like, that seems like a new era of idiocy. But, um, I will say, for enemies that just rush us down and do not shoot, it's not that bad. Like, the knockback is actually maybe my worst enemy right now. Um, we gotta hit this item room, and it would be nice if it was great. It's good enough. Really gonna lower our shot speed and effective range, not increasing our damage, but... I, I really think piercing shots are good enough to justify that. You know, the crowd control as a result is, is important. And the shop is a bit of an interesting conundrum here. I think I would probably like to, uh go to it, blow up the donation machine, and buy something. We've been ridiculously cruel to our donation machine lately, but we've had we've found ourselves on some semi-difficult runs, so... Uh, now, it's a wild choice here, isn't it? Placebo's probably not good, uh, but could be. Diplopia, historically, is what I would take here. I just want to see how our financial situation shakes out, and then we'll have a better idea of things. Because I also, you know, I kind of want to buy the Spirit Heart. And, surprising nobody, I kind of want to buy the, uh, the playing card as well. And the playing card, if we're going to be able to get two things, the playing card is probably what we buy first. Because there's a, an outside chance that it could be two of diamonds, and then we can buy whatever we want. Well, we can buy a couple of things, probably not whatever we want. But, um, we'll, we'll see... The Spirit Heart is very valuable because it guarantees us more or less to deal with the Devil. Um, Diplopia is really good, but it means that we won't have Doctor's Remote for the for a while. Um, or ever again. Uh, it's really like you're kind of sacrificing your short-term success for long-term gain. Bomb, please? No bomb. I want a bomb because there's a Tinted Rock down here, but... Okay, let's... I think you do it like this. Go like that. We got two cents. That's the exact wrong amount. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. It's two of spades. I'm gonna take the pill. I found pills. I'm gonna fight the boss and see what happens. We got no bombs, which is a real bummer. We should be able to get one more cent on here. And then we'll take Diplopia, I suppose. May I, apparently, I should have just gone for the Tinted Rock. That's the way it, it seems to be shaking out right now. If we get one more cent, we'll get Diplopia. If not, we won't, I guess. That's, uh, easy enough. The boss is not too bad, but our damage is not stellar. So it would be nice if, uh, if he blew himself up with a bomb. He blew up his projectile. That's not the same thing. Don't think that we're even here. This is good. This is good. Blow yourself up. There we go. That's like more damage than I could possibly hope to do to you. Another slow one, which is a little annoying, but we also do, like, let's not ignore the fact that we have a deal with the devil coming up. Almost certainly. Paperclip's fine. Range and shot speed are important, actually, right now. Uh, okay, but this is a blessing, believe it or not, because... We're going to get a doctor's remote charge. And you know what? Now that we're at 23 cents thanks to that golden heart, I don't think we need the doctor's remote charge. I guess we'll take this, but we're probably just going to buy Diplopia. It's it's very risky to buy Diplopia here, by the way, but I think that it's the right choice as much as I hate to admit it. We'll buy Diplopia, buy the spirit heart, and leave ourselves in a bit of a dicey situation. What are we going to use Diplopia for? Probably some early gain. Boss Rush is the, the normal choice, but uh, we might not make it. So I might just use it on a deal with the devil. 
Alright, we gotta do this. Two of hearts. Worth holding, I would I would say. So obviously Nun's Habit is actually useless for us right now, but could change. What do we need here? Well, like really? It's the same thing that frustrated me for a lot of our last run. We have no DPS. Rate of fire is okay. Damage is bad. The only thing that makes this look deceptively good right now is the piercing shot. And even the piercing shot carries its own set of drawbacks here, so... I would enjoy... Picking up, you know, like a small rock. I know that I'm the dude who chose not to get the tinted rock on the last floor, but that was to get Diplopia, which I, I stand by that decision as long as we don't lose. If we lose, then I'll I'll rescind my support for that decision. But if we're if we're still in this, then it's a good decision as far as I'm concerned. Would have also been really helpful to just not get hit like six times on the first floor. That would make me feel a little better. Just just safer, you know, more room for error. But what's done is done. And nor ooh yeah that was that was real bad. Normal rooms like this not that bad. It's going to be like Yep. <laughs> Couldn't get the knife out of the way. Big rooms with tanky enemies are going to be the worst. And there's really no excuse to take damage on this room. Wow, we actually pushed a heart and a penny off of the island there. And a key, actually and two keys. Still fine on HP, but let's remember, this isn't last run. We don't have nine lives. So I really, you know, every bit of damage could be fatal. I mean, it's not going to be fatal immediately, but it could be fatal in the end. Just please, small, even even though I want HP, DPS is the, is the ticket right now. So obviously, one thing that I'm hopeful for, first off, like a single bomb, so I can actually access a Tinted Rock. Secondly, you know, maybe two bombs, so I could use one on the boss, for example. But, you know, just, just spitballing it, things that might be valuable for me at some point in the future here. Um, you know, the good basic consumables which make up an Isaac run would be nice to have. But I understand, you know, they're pretty precious. If you don't want to give me a single bomb, that's fine. You did give me Doctor's Remote, but, you know, I gave it up to try to provide the viewers with a show. I'm not bitter about it or anything. I mean, you are fucking me live on YouTube, but... Alright. Go fight the boss. Is Gertie J. That's bad. Gertie Jr. is an annoying boss. And we're not fast enough to feel aggressively confident here, but we don't have to get through the fight without getting hit. I hate this. Please get further away from me. That was bad. One spirit art down is not horrible, though. We gotta deal with the angel. Maybe I'm thankful that I actually can't, uh... I can't open the the angel statue here. I'll take the spirit arts and go. What a fucked up run, though. And I, I mean that sincerely, even though we're super early on. HP is good. Damage is horrible. We're, we're train wrecked. It's early. But we're train wrecked. I mean, 12 minutes on the third floor is not where we want to be. That much should be very obvious. That's indicative of a very bad DPS. Also, don't even get me started on the fact that we can't fucking open a golden chest because we don't have any bombs. That's not a common problem. It's not a full train wreck because the game's being very good about giving us HP. And rest assured, that is appreciated. But, supposed to be on the Depths 1 right now? We're not on the Depths 1. Can't help but notice, we do not appear to be on the Depths 1. I will go to the Curse Room. HP is the, the one that we got a lot of right now. Oh, that's what I get. 45 minutes. Plenty of time for an Isaac run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, should have just made myself a sandwich instead. It's okay. I have faith. Next floor, mom's knife, boys. I would accept at this point. Mark, it's big! And the extra spirit heart to, you know, pay for us being in here. That is actually 
pretty huge. Because again, rate of fire is okay and our shots are piercing, so any damage upgrade magnifies that. You know, we're in a pretty good spot now. And it, that's that's all it took to silence my complaining. We got like the small rocks worth of damage upgrades. And we're good. Well, we're not good. We're playing really badly. Like embarrassingly badly, but the fact that our HP is okay for now means that we're probably fine to ride this train until the DPS finally pays out. No boss rush, which is a real bummer on a on a run with Diplopia, but hey, you know, on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, boss rush is like number one, which means that we get it last in my world. Shop does have the map. I would like the map. There's a penny on this room, and apparently there's a penny on the other room, so we'll, we should be able to get the map at the cost of not having uh, an arcade available to us on the next floor, but that's fine. Oh, it's actually a nickel, so we'll go grab that, get the map. Could probably come back and buy, well, maybe come back and buy a spirit heart, but whatever. There's only one more room available here, so we still have no bombs also, which is really dope. I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Who needs bombs? We're gonna head down to the next floor. I don't know. Probably no deal with the devil or angel chance in all likelihood, but well, I mean, when I say probably no, I mean there's some, but not much. If there's a deal with the devil, we almost don't want to diplopia it because it ruins our chance at precedent. So maybe we hold it for the chest? I mean, it's a little early to call that, but seems sensible. If we do have a chance at boss rush, the map is it. You know, we can skip maybe four or five rooms per floor, and the only cost is that we don't get the, uh, the consumables that we would get on those rooms. Or, you know, in some cases, the items, depending on what, you know, we find in there, but... It's a relatively small cost for, with Diplopia, a potentially pretty huge gain. So, I really, I, I think Boss Rush is inconceivable. Uh, yeah, we're on Catacombs too. But, even though I say it's inconceivable, what I mean is, lower your expectations, and maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised. I really like, by the way, how in RimWorld, low expectations is like a positive mood buff. It's, <laughs> I think it says a lot about... Uh, the creator's worldview that like the best way to be happy is to have low expectations. I'm not saying I disagree I'm just saying it's a it's a funny thing to model in game Wow, that was a shot I didn't realize fat bad Tomo fly has been training at the London 2012 school of rapid-fire pistols. I Am gonna take technology and you're gonna say you're an idiot and I'm gonna say yes I know I, I'm, I've been aware of this as long as I've been on this great green earth but I like the synergies that result from this item. Although we already had piercing shots, this does give us effectively infinite range. Greed, please? Dang. BFF would be fine. I like, you know, if we can get homing tears with this, I'm real happy, but mostly this is like, the game gave us the mark to be very nice to us, so we walk it back a little bit. We say, thanks for being nice to us. Now we'll compromise, and we'll take something a little shitty as well. Uh, and then, you know, eventually through this compromise, we reach something that hopefully is a win for us, but also where the game felt like it had a chance. You know, it's all about this expectations management. Okay, we got one HP at the very least. Really good little Gertie shot there. And growth hormones, which I felt like maybe Diplopia-ing was the smart idea, but either way, let's hold it for now. And uh, Diplopia remains as kind of like our, our ace in the hole for the future. But I think we're starting to pop off. Like, we've gotten enough damage improvements that I think that we're actually in a really, really great situation. And I'm, I'm using keys at this point because I want to fight greed. And I <laughs> kind of want to donate to our donation machine as well, because I've been very rude. Uh, champion belt for seven cents is, I know I said I was gonna donate, but champion belt for seven cents is a, a fairly obvious pickup, I think. One of my favorite uh, shop items in the game, even though like in terms of like it's on paper effects, it's a little boring. Small damage increase for a, a minor trade-off that may actually be good. Um, it's still a, it's a, an improvement. And you can't get too many damage upgrades on shops, which I think is why it's important. Chariot Stars. Well, you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that um, 
you know, through use of this stars card, we could theoretically get out of boss rush. And I'm gonna take a crack at it. It's it's so unlikely to work, but I think we should try. Oh, you know what? Disregard. We haven't been to our item room on this floor, so we'll wait it out. We can always save Diplopia for the chest. I've taken a lot of bad damage on this floor. Through rushing, and rushing, it can cost us, man. Oh, come on. There was no safe place there. Take the halo. Oh, yeah. Take the holy grail. I'm just gonna tell you right now, you can fuck off with this, uh... You know, go fight Mega Satan silliness. Not gonna happen. I'm happy to take the easy way out on this run. Also, I don't think we could have gotten two... Uh, you know what? We could have gotten two key pieces. I'm not gonna take the easy way out on that one either. We could have gotten two key pieces. The Halo's good. I don't think we've compromised our HP too much. We had a lot of spirit hearts. Uh, we will check for sure. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I hate to I hate to be a little baby about it, but I'm not gonna do it. I think it's too risky right now. Technology is already like a mild risk. The angel could do a lot of damage, and and honestly, I've taken really really stupid damage on this floor. And with Curse of the Unknown, I don't trust myself too much. But Halo's good, and uh, Holy Grail's even better. Hopefully, I didn't lose my Eternal Heart, but I, I bet I did. I. Wait, Holy Grail just gives you HP. It doesn't give you an Eternal Heart. Okay. All's forgiven. So our HP was actually fine. I don't even want to talk about that. Like, that was the point where you're like, you know, sometimes you make a mistake and you apologize, but in your head you're like, it wasn't that bad. Oh, I need to go back. Um, that time was not one of those times. I took damage by running into an enemy thinking my DPS made me better than it actually made me, and uh, I was just ashamed. Let's... It's it's impatience, man. Just stop making silly mistakes for, for no discernible reason. That's the real bummer here. I don't think we use the chariot here. I think I'd rather use the chariot on a boss fight. Like the mom fight in particular, but... Now that we can fly and actually deal damage, it's like a very foreign concept after that last run. And the start of this run, to be fair. Like, to actually feel like we have the ability to, uh... Well, we have the tools necessary to take out these enemies. It feels nice. I didn't know that this is what winning feels like. Well, that that's kind of disingenuous. We do have, uh, 56 wins in a row. And now, honestly, a really good chance to go on to 57. It's a slow streak, though. It's taking its time. It is a little bit shocking to me that we're effectively almost at two months without a loss. I have lost on the stream occasionally, but you're, you know, you're focusing on different stuff, you're bantering, you're looking at chat, you're a little distracted. There's a reason, you know, that we do seated runs for those. Should be easy enough. Okay. There is a bomb back there. Remember when we had zero bombs? Those were the days that I never want to go back to. I admit, though, it's got to be frustrating watching me get bailed out on this run, and to a lesser extent on the last run. I played worse on this run so far than I did on the last run. Um, I think we, we made some decent plays, especially, like, cerebrally on the chest. It was a very smart decision to not use the Emperor card. We, we ended up, you know, all logical signs most of the time say use the Emperor card. This was not one of those situations. It ended up working out really nicely, but it's got to be frustrating to watch me just get bailed out over and over, despite, uh, playing pretty badly. Rest assured, that probably will not last forever. I think I'm just going to donate and get out. And my reasoning is, I don't trust myself to not accidentally take the Suicide King card. And starter deck is good, or even great, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to... Not donate. I feel bad. We've really messed with our donation machine lately. So even though we've still taken a lot of money out of it, I think that that was nice. That was a nice thing to do. So we're going to use our stars card. Stars card of our days and our nights. The stars card. Stars card. Boss rush enabler if we could make it work, but we can't. Okay, I'm trying to get Mom's Knife in there. But it's not easy. 
Like, especially because I need to dodge these shitheads. But we're almost done with this fight. It seems like we're slower than we are, by the way, because we did almost get to boss rush. We were 45 seconds away, but then we were like, man, well, since we're already late, we might as well double down on doing the rest of the meaningful rooms on this floor. So we already saw this, I think. No, we didn't. Okay, grab this. Why did I take stars instead of, instead of chariot? Because I believe that there's a benevolent force in this universe that's going to teleport me closer to the boss. And we're going to check that right away. That seems to have backfired. I have to say, um, there was really no point to buying restock unless the uh, unless we go to the hush fight. Am I going to go to the hush fight? No, I don't believe so. Uh, it's, it's just not that kind of run right now. We also don't have that much money, but I hesitated to even say that because I also ignored the penny that spawned on the la on that last room. So, you know, it's a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy, I'd say. But for now, it's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. We're in a, we're in a good spot. This feels like the boss room to me, just because the other area... It, it could be, and I think we've seen it in that area before, but there's, like, too many options in that other area. I like, I like a situation where it seems like only the boss room can be over here. That other room's got, like... That other path has, like, a weird long room that it's like the Tetris piece you're always waiting for. This feels right. I really, by the way, I mean, we have Holy Grail. There's no reason for me to be walking into enemies. Okay, that I'll accept as okay damage, but um, we most of the time should just be hanging out. I think that it makes sense to play this Demon Judgment. Like, hanging out and being defensive. I would love an extra syringe here. There is a uh, counterfeit penny on this floor. Because of Blind Rage, we can actually get three plays out of this Demon Judgment, which is potentially pretty valuable. Missing Page 2 is good. Well, good enough. It gives us a black card here. And I was totally wrong. Small rock, please. Small rock. Ooh, boys, we in this. Madrinas. Okay, so it was this way up here then. I was wrong. Missing page two is not really that good. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was just happy to have a black card, but um, the big play there is definitely the uh, the small rock pickup. Hopefully, again, probably not looking forward to the hush fight, but seems conceivable to me that, oh, it's a big boss fight. Mr. Fred, long time no see. It seems conceivable to me we could get a deal with the Angel or Devil here and find ourselves in a better position. Then just go fight right away. It's a double, like a brownie dingle fight. Weird. Not that common. There was a period where it really felt like Mr. Fred showed up on like every single womb one. And now he's he feels super rare. Fight Mr. Fred like once every 20 runs or something. Which is, it's much better that way. <laughs> that dude is annoying. Not my favorite boss fight here, though. No deal? I mean, I guess we'll take HP and then just go. Leave the, leave the judgment behind. Where are we going here? Probably up, is my guess. And I'm actually gonna make some compromises that you might not enjoy here. But... I'm relatively displeased with our HP. So on rooms that are annoying, I'm just going to bounce through them with one of our many bombs. And this is probably an annoying room, but I don't want to get in the habit of rushing too, too much. I found pills. Fantastic. Whoa. My pills are like, whoa. My vaginal bomb flies are like, well, I mean, they're not like, whoa. They're more like, ugh, get out of here. Vaginal bomb fly. Why don't you come with me, little girl, for a vaginal bomb fly? Don't try that one. That's not gonna work, Steppenwolf. More like step into my office, please, because you're fucking fired. Okay. Uh, another waste of a room. We have no guppy items, I think, which is a little bit uh, surprising, I'll admit. 
Thank God we did do one room. That way we, uh... Just bomb our way out of these ones and save some bombs on the back end. Okay, now we're... Oh, we came in this way. So I'm gonna say that the boss fight is probably definitely below us. And I'm looking for... I mean, I'll accept a deal with the Angel, but I'd really like DPS again. I always want DPS, but this is definitely a situation in which it makes perfect sense because we have... Uh, we have enough HP to feel confident. Good card, good card. We're gonna use that on the uh, on the cathedral. I know that last time we said we'd use it on the chest and then we ended up not using it at all. Let's use it on the cathedral. Cause then if we get down to the chest, we got Diplopia right off the bat. We can use Diplopia to kind of loot for good items on the chest. Loot in a, you know, match the gathering sense. Cause I'm a dork. Puberty, not bad. We'll get rid of Blind Rage, which has been good for us. Really enabled us to get uh, Missing Page 2 pretty easily. Yes? You have something to say to me? Ruka? I say Ruka, you say Meow, Ruka! Ruka! I knew it. Ruka, you gotta learn to march to the beat of your own drum. You can't just be responding to your master all the time. I say Ruka, you say Meow, Ruka! Nah, he's scratching his mouth. Makes it hard to respond. Uh, we can use bombs here because we're planning on skipping like almost all of the cathedral, so... Might as well use bombs to speed this up. You can see like our damage is not very good. And this gives me a lot of uh... Well, not a lot, but a decent amount of concern for the, the chest. Because those rooms are no joke. But we do have Diplopia. No deal! Okay, okay. Well, we got the Isaac fight. That frightens me somewhat. Not necessarily a ton, though. I think we walk into this room, and I was just gonna say, we see if it has anything worthwhile. Might as well try, right? And then we we leave. <laughs> okay, very important. Just don't take damage. It's not about finishing quickly at this point. This one is just about surviving. We need to beat Isaac with as much HP as possible for the chest, just in case, and it's a non-zero probability, just in case we get uh, shit items. It can happen. Diplopia makes it, you know, moderately less likely that we stick with shit items, I guess, because we can, you know, take one and then turn it into something better. And if we get a good item, we can double down on it, but... Oh, bad dodge. Very bad dodge. I really like... I would like to line up little Gertie. Harder than you'd think, though. Yep, that was bad dodging, man. So I would say that my plan largely has failed so far. And I think I got a little little overconfident to suggest that, uh, you know, we were very likely to move on to win 57. It might be a little bit more of like a knockdown drag out fight than I originally anticipated. I'm very, very unhappy to be saying that because I like it when the run is sorted by now. I also like it when you call me Big Papa and you throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. This exclusively goes out to all my honeys making money treating fellas like dummies. But let's refocus. That early 90s hip hop lyric was the first step towards getting back into the muscle memory of being good at the Binding of Isaac. I think we just go. I was thinking maybe we go down one room, try to gain some HP, but we're taking double damage everywhere, so... Curse of the Blind. That sucks. It's actually the worst. So, what do you do? I mean, I guess you take all four items first. 2020. I guess we, we wouldn't really have wanted to double that. Great item, by the way. Magic Mushroom, also amazing. Gemini, decent. Number one. Okay, we're in a great spot now, and then we get four new items. Crack the sky, it's fine. 
Holy Mantle, very good. We got Seraphim, we just got Smart Fly, and Infestation. I'd say, overall, that was very, very good. Magic Mushroom was huge. 2020 was huge. Uh, number one, with infinite range, is huge. We got pretty lucky. This is going to pull us out. I mean, this is a relatively tough room, and we just steamrolled it. So, uh, we, we should be completely fine. But it, it never had a reason to be this close. I'm just listening to this sweet electric guitar in the background. Alright, so we will get to win 57. Which means we're getting so close to win 60. Which means I can make that because of win 60 joke. We're not quite there yet though. Shoop to whoop. Very good for us right now. Because I think our damage is awesome. Blank card. I mean, can be great. Probably is not going to be. Yeah, shoop to whoop's fine right now. All right, yet another run, you know, well, the second one in a row, at least, where the chest has basically saved us. This time we got saved without having to use any forget-me-now nonsense, though. We just, you know, hang on. Hang on for dear life, and here we are in a successful situation. I don't have more insightful commentary than that, because I can feel my brain slowly shutting down as the jet lag sets in, but we're, we're at least going to pull a win out of this. Algis... It takes us even closer to a win if we weren't set to begin with, which we completely are. All right, it's penny on the ground, looking like a fool with your penny on the ground. Remember we got sad bombs on the last run too. Those were the days, man. Shoop the whoop is such a big item here. Oh, and it was a big room, so we got charged immediately. But I think, oh, you know, I was gonna say we probably save it, but we definitely use it. Lucky us. Keep it going, and we're set. These guys aren't that bad anyway. Okay. Finally, I feel like I can relax a little bit. I mean, again, th this run's a little different than the last run. I think I played worse, but I also, at least for a while, was saddled with pretty bad uh, items. Not bad RNG necessarily, because, I mean, I did take technology of my own volition, but... Um, I feel like we didn't cost ourselves like deals with the devil. We just got deals with the angel. But the deals with the angel ended up being pretty good. You know, Holy uh, or Holy Grail was good. And then Holy Mantle was not from the deal with the devil. Or deal with the angel, I should say. It was from the chest, but still. And Diplopia? What did I tell you? Diplopia ended up being the right decision. For now, though, we are going to finish this off. Algis made it so we didn't even take damage. What were we worried about? No problem. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. All oh, the tiredness is legitimate. I'll see you next time for win 50... 58, hopefully. See you then.